all righty what is going on ladies and gents welcome back to the channel for another market update hope everybody's having a lovely day and with that being said into the ta all right guys so we are proceeding higher today but i will just point out that we have had a very sideways day a very grindy day if i do say so myself and i'm gonna just say right now i think we might be going a little bit higher but i am still looking for that pullback okay guys we still do have these 15 minute bearish divergences on spy on qqq on iwm and on dia and iwm and you get you got more all right you have to have this divergence all right you had this little guy guess what now you got one right over here near our level all right so 199.66 guys that was where IWM broke down from. If you do put in a shooting star candlestick right here, I think that will give us a uh, little hint on where the like all of the indices are going to be going over the uh, coming days. Now, we do have Papa Powell speaking on Wednesday. Why is he speaking, guys? FOMC, baby. FOMC, all right? So we will be having our big catalyst on Wednesday this week. I am just going to put it out there. Yes, I am. Guys, if we end up selling off into that, then it's neutral but if you rally straight into that event i am personally not going to be looking for uh yeah pop pal to bring us any higher i think he's probably going to give us a negative catalyst there all right now you come down to the 15 minute time frame i am going to keep this one short so let's just literally come over here let's go over some paths all right so from here guys we do have this bearish divergence if we pop up it's it's given it enough enough room here to where it can pop up here hit the 0.618 fibonacci retracement and then it could sell from there right just because you still will have that bearish divergence all right qqq you got the same thing going on guys all right so we've been pointing out this 433.71 level just like iwm broke down through the uh what was it 266 is that no not to 199.66 all right so just like iwm had 199.66 as its breakdown level qqq had the bottom of the range where it broke down from being 433.71 i know there's a lot of lines here let's just you know really clean up this chart here let's take that off and now you really can see the clear picture all right above here you had nothing until you came here and you very clearly all right have sellers here we were looking for sellers here why because again why are they not going to be down here this is where they broke it down they, they have incentive to defend it all right regardless we know action is going to be taking place here which is why we probably have this chop all right it's a pretty even balance guys whenever you have price just not doing anything all right both sides are just you know they're in the same exact spot they have the same amount of pressure going into each side which means they're not going to be moving each other all right <laughs> holy sweet baby jesus that was a loud honk <laughs> that was a loud honk all right that, that made me freaking jump i thought that was a uh that was like an old car honk i don't know if you guys heard that over the mic all right um that is cool that is cool it is nice and uh it's getting warmer out so a bunch of people uh, at least where i am around have their nice older cars all right so that is that do you guys have any vintage uh classic cars all right we're talking like the uh what's it called what was that ford car what was the first one? Oh, the model t we're talking those kinds of cars i see them all the time except uh well okay i don't see them all the time but they're out and about today <laughs> because it's sunny out i hope you guys are enjoying your uh sunny day all right guys if you have pups go take them on their walk go do that all right just remember if you're going uh for we'll say over a mile and a half two miles guys bring your water because uh yeah it's hot and i at least saw with my dogs i now have to bring water for even that little duration there we normally we extend it out to like four miles but no they were they were gassed all right they were gassed so i guess i gotta start bringing my backpack along on these uh these everyday hikes so that that sucks but that's okay that is okay guys go enjoy your uh sunny day i think we are entering that time of the year it's gonna be a good time all right guys but over here on qqq all right you either looking for this or you're looking for this one or the other spy you're either looking for this or you're looking for this all right, either way, I think we're going to be getting back down, or not down. I think if we pull back, I think we get back up here. But guys, major reason, guys, you got the divergences. Why are you going to ignore them? You literally have them on SPY, on QQ, IWM, on DIA. They're all here, all right? DIA has not reached overbought territory yet, so that is something to note, all right? 
Boom. But you do have VIX right over here. It does have this 15 minute bullish divergence just as they have their bearish divergences. And it is right here at the bottom of this zone that we know a lot of action goes on over here, Mr. VIX. All right, you see these wick ups. You see this big guy right here. Well, guess what? All right, this is where the action is right here. You see with the arrow is. Well, buyers, obviously there's not buyers over here, Mr. VIX. There, there could be buying, you know, buying of the call options on Mr. VIX, but this is not buyers, all right? Uh, this thing is directly correlated. It's directly tied. I shouldn't even say correlated. Directly tied to SBX's option chain, all right? So that is how it moves. Um, guess what, though? It's coming right here. So this is an important spot. If it does break down under here, people say you can't do TA and Mr. VIX, all right? But I think if there's a spot that, uh, you know, this thing's going to catch a bounce, it's going to be right around here. If not, all right, you got a, a ways to go, guys. But we're really just going to be watching for these bullish divergences on the hourly time from the last time we did end up seeing VIX pop over here. You did have this hourly bullish divergence. We don't have that yet. All right, so that is something to take note of. I'm sure over here we probably could find the same thing. Uh, you can, yeah, you do. Ever so slightly right there at the bottom, right? You do have the hourly bullish divergence. All right, so that's what I'm going to be on the lookout for. And that is that. All right, so QQ, guys, those are your paths. All right, that's really it. You're, it's, you're not watching for much, guys. You're not looking for much further upside here. We have FOMC on Wednesday. If you run into here, expect sellers to be in here. All right, which if you want the actual levels for that, 435.50 all the way up to 441.50. All right, and that's coming from here down to the low. That is where you're going to expect sellers. Okay, over here at SPY, guess what? Same exact thing. We got the two paths. We have the two paths. And if you get this one right here, maybe that brings us right in over here to Wednesday. And then maybe from that level, maybe you pick it up. You pike it up, baby. You pike it up. All right. IWM, we're going to do the same thing over here because I know there are some IWM traders. All right. As you do have the 15 minute bearish divergence, I did already, you know, give my thoughts over here, guys. If you do put in a shooting star candlestick off this level today, I think you're probably going to have that pullback. Where would that pullback be to? All right. Or where's a potential spot it could be to? Down here at 196.62. That was a level we were paying attention to over here. All right, but I think that uh, could bring some action. All right, so it could also uh, do a little something like this. Just back test this trend line of this inverse head and shoulders formation, guys. We called this out up here. We said any pullback is just going to create this uh, right shoulder as long as you have buyers stepping in for the higher low. You did have buyers stepping in right here at the 0.618 Fibonacci retracement for the higher low. Now, what did we also have in our chart at the time? We also had this level down here. It was the high of this candlestick right over here at 194.39. All right. You did end up seeing a picture perfect bounce off of Golden Pocket in that level. All right. Congratulations if you made some money. All right, guys. If you are new here to this channel, guys, I will provide you with the technical analysis on these charts not bullish not bearish i'm definitely going to be giving my opinions all right but i will continuously provide you with the paths that i am seeing over here day after day week week after week over here on spy qq and iwm and in the second half of these videos we do go over all the trade ideas that i'm watching which typically are fresh all right guys so let's get after it let's move on to the second half of the video now that we have gone over these indices all right first one we're going to take a look at is mr hood all right, so hood, we're going to take a look under the hood of Mr. Hood, and uh, you do have, all right, I know it's all the way back down here, and if you do actually sell here, this is an amazing long opportunity over here on hood, in my personal opinion, all right, this is where uh, you have no reason for buyers not to step in here. Let's look at it this way. This is like over a year. This is almost two years, all right, so you don't, you know, do you guys see what I see? You almost have two years of consolidation here. If you come back down here, there's your major, major weekly buying opportunity over here in Mr. Hood. All right. But you do have a break and retest going on off of the 1649 level. You did just tap that level not too long ago, 1646. And now you are bouncing off of that. All right. So, you know, guys, price doesn't have to reverse back up from here. But I am going to say I think it's likely after we just had all this consolidation in the downward direction, whole month of consolidation, you had two days of breakout. I find that hard to believe. I think if you come back down here and back test that trend line around 1720, which is going to be your 0.618 Fibonacci retracement from here to here, I think you're probably going to get some buyers stepping in. I think you would have a move like this. All right, so that is definitely uh, that's that's one we are keeping an eye out over there. The next one I'm going to put your eyes on is Kava, guys. All right, now I'm not saying Kava is going to do any crazy stuff right away, 
but I am going to tell you right now, this is something that is, uh, yeah, it's heating up, guys. You have the break and retest off of the previous all-time high here. You guys could see the weekly chart. It really does look rather sexy. All right, break and retest. You have this, again, like what we just pointed out over there. Yeah, this consolidation, all right? This consolidation was about a month. Okay, you take it from over here, all right? You were just pulling back. You were bullishly consolidating. You just had an explosive breakout with volume off of that. Now you're taking a breather. I'm going to be honest. I think you're going to take out 7160 and go a little bit higher this week. All right, so that's just uh, what I'm looking at. I see no reason for you to get that close, all right? You were 2.5% away from, uh, well, it, at the other day, you were 2.5% away from here, okay, or 2%. As of today, guys, you got uh, within 1.3% 1, 1 of taking out that high, and I do think that high is going to be taken out, all right? Whether you get a pullback here or not, I that is exactly what I'm looking for. You guys know. All right, CELH, that is the next one we are going to keep our eye on. I will put it on your radar. Guys, CELH has earnings coming up. Not this Thursday, but next Thursday. So premiums, if you're not playing weeklies, they will be pumped. If you see it come back down here this week, that is something that I might take a stab at. I pointed this out uh, almost off open today, and I decided not to go with it because, but you know, I, I did see it. It was it wanted this trend line, guys. It wants the trend line. Very clearly had a, a exact picture perfect reaction off of that trend line. All right, and now you're taking a sell. All right, so just like you found buyers at the last golden pocket down there, what are we going to be watching here for a higher low? Golden pocket. All right, guys, so this is where you're watching CELH, but really the idea I'm throwing your way is if it comes back down here into 68.95, this is where I think it's a no-brainer going into earnings. All right, now it could do a move like this again, so I'm not going to, don't go balls to the walls. All right, don't, you know, don't have money in, something for earnings that you think is going to be detrimental to you just don't do it all right but i am telling you i think something like this could be right around the corner again and i'm not saying you get this massive short squeeze but yeah all right this thing is setting up in a way that i i really like it all right i really like it something very similar to this is carvana carvana has the same exact setup you had to break and retest and what happened then you had some explosions go down all right, and now you're finding sellers right there at the 0.786 fib. Guys, the reason we talk about the gold of Bach and use it so much on our charts is because it is something that works. Why are you not going to use something that works? All right, you find something that works, you stick with it. All right, golden pocket, guys. If you do end up selling off here, all right, if you have an aggressive sell off here, going and turning somehow, all right, watching this golden pocket. I do think it's likely that earnings is probably about to give you a pop, though. All right. You got all these other downtrend breaks. You have earnings, like literally, uh, is that Wednesday before? No, it's it's after close on Wednesday. I think that's your next catalyst. And I think this thing is probably going to be, uh, yeah, it's going to be doing some things. All right. Next one we're going to talk about is Mr. Mar over here. Mar, guys, all right, this is definitely going to be moving based off of Bitcoin. Um, so you're going to want to watch this. This has support going on right down here. I'm just going to say if you come down into here, all right, daily RSI is probably going to be pretty close to 30 at that point again. And um, yeah, I think it's probably going to keep finding buyers here. And then you're probably going to get this action right here, right? It's either going to go like that, or you're going to see it come down here, and then you're going to go like that. All right, and maybe see something like that. I don't know. All right, but uh, Mara is the candidate for this, all right? You do have earnings right around the corner, so that is something to take note. I think you actually have right earnings today. All right, so you got that on Wednesday. Okay, so premiums are going to be juiced. That is definitely a thing. But the setup is undeniable. It's right here. It's clear as day. Break and retest off of your downtrend. Even if you come back into it, I like the stock. All right, I like how this looks. And I think it's queuing up for a reversal. Just my opinion. All right, just my opinion. All right, what do we got going on over here on Mr. D King? All right, Deakin, guys, if you're playing the trade idea, we threw your way down here at the break and retest off of 39, 35. That is one we were waiting a little while for. We got that opportunity, and we did end up seeing it run into the golden pocket. Now, you did have a trend line break today. I understand it looks a little wonky. Let's make it... Yeah, we'll put it right there. All right, so no, you did not have your trend line break. I'm not going to call that a back test. All right, I'm not. I think you're probably going to sell a little more into earnings. And uh, from that point on, guys, I think this is getting ready for a big move up. 
probably going to be off earnings. The earnings tricky because we have catalyst, all right? And if you have a setup going into that catalyst, then yeah, all right? You probably know what's going to happen. But guess what? Premiums also know what's probably going to happen. <laughs> so that is that option chain, I should be saying, all right? Next one we're talking about, though. PLTR, similar setup to what we just talked about on DKing. You found buyers perfectly stepping up here off of the picks, uh, 0.61 Fibonacci retracement. All right, you could come down here. You just missed it, all right? But if we're really going to talk about this most recent impulsive move, going here to here, there's that, all right? But you could have it down here. For the sake of this, we're going to keep it right there, all right? Earnings, just like we just talked about with DKing. Okay, if you sell off into earnings, I like it. Where specifically? Well, you found buyers at the last time at the Golden Pocket, guys. This is something that works all too well. All too well. If you come down into here, 2150, going into your earnings, you like it. All right, you like it. You don't have to like it. I like it, but you, you should. Maybe. Okay. Worst case scenario, you get this and then this. That is my worst case scenario over here on Mr. PLTR. All right. But what I think is much more likely is you get something like this and we get another earnings explosion. There you go. Okay. All right. So that is pretty much all I got for you today. NVIDIA did end up coming down into this zone and you found bars. Yes, I was looking for the trend line retest right there. You did not get it. You didn't get the downtrend retest. What you did is you got your heavily traded zone. You popped above it and you came back into it and you found some bias. Okay, you found some bias. So there you go, guys. Things ain't looking too shabby over here, all right? We're going to be moving on over here. Let's cover some of these guys. Amazon, all right? Amazon has earnings tomorrow after the close. I am just going to say, going off of this chart, I think you're probably going to get a pop to a new all-time high. I think that could lift some of these other guys. And uh, maybe, guys, maybe we rally straight into Papa Pal. Okay? That is just what I'm, I'm, I'm thinking over here. Goog, even if you pull back, this thing is bullish. All right? I don't know what to tell you. This thing, guys, go back to the video when this thing gapped up. We gave the path. All right? Which it may have looked stupid at the time, but it was something like this. All right? <laughs> it, was, it was the night I recorded the video. I was hella tired. I remember because people roasted me on my drawings. All right. <laughs> there we go. I make some funny drawings sometimes when I'm tired. And uh, yeah, I don't know. All right. Yeah, Amazon not looking bad in the weekly chart. You got Goog not looking bad in the weekly chart. Like you pull back, it doesn't matter, guys. That's your buying opportunity. You got it over here on Mr. Apple, guys. Respect your golden pocket and it will respect you. All right, guys. So you did stall out the 0.786 fib. You're bullish on these pullbacks, and I think earnings is probably going to give it a gap up. I do not think it's going to gap down this time. All right? Just my opinion. But the last earnings gap down, you did end up seeing it aggressively bought up. So if you get that opportunity, might uh, there's the opportunity on weeklies. There you go. All right, guys. And that is almost the last one we're going to be talking about. We're going to talk about Microsoft over here, guys. As it comes down into the bottom of the range, this is your buy zone. Okay, the daily RSI is already sitting down here. I don't think it's going much lower. Earnings is gone, so premiums aren't, you know, just ridiculously juiced at this point. All right, but um, yeah, I, I don't know what else I can really show you here. It's coming down to the bottom of the range. Yes, you got this like head and shoulders kind of look to it. People are probably seeing that. All right, but you've been finding buyers down there for a long time. I think you're probably going to keep finding buyers. And then you look at the daily RSI, you look at the four hour RSI. Guys, this thing is already oversold. I don't expect this to come down, all right? I'm going to tell you guys the same thing I told the Discord this morning. Higher high, you're expecting a higher low, all right? That's that. that that's literally that. It's it's not, you know, not, you know, brain. it's not, what is the term? I just had a brain fart. Rocket science. Why couldn't I think of that? All right? You broke down over here. You made the lower low. You're expecting the lower high. You got the lower high lower low well now you have the, the higher high all right so what am i going to be looking for higher low all right so i don't think this is going to be taken out but you know if it is taken out guys it's just going to put in a triple bullish verge over here on the four hour rsi and the daily rsi is just going to be oversold again all right you're looking to buy this and honestly well you don't have to be doing anything i think the market's looking to buy it all right that when i speak like that all right speaking about market participants guess what if that thing okay we get our pullback on the indices. Microsoft might end up down here. At this point, it's probably not going to sell off. 
all right, it's probably going to rally. And if we have a major component here suggesting that, then, uh, yeah, what do you think is going to happen over here on QQQ? All right, so just something to uh, tie into your, your mental path you got for this week. And there we go, guys. There we go. With that being said, Tesla had a freaking nasty gap up, guys. Dips are now buying opportunities. You are going to take out 205.60. And when that happens, you will have a switch on this weekly time frame. All right. If you, you see that, that path right there, honestly, I think that's probably the most likely path. But if you pull back, guys, dips are going to be your buying opportunities. You're looking to buy this right here. All right. 172.12. Now, I was looking to be bullish into this week, as you can see. All right, you see that arrow? Well, guess what? All right, you gapped up crazy. All right, and you kept going, guys. From the open, you did end up going another 10 bucks. There you go. Congrats if you made money off Tesla. All right, I would definitely be taking the profits if you did that. But, uh, you know, then again, I do think, you know, this is probably the path it's going to take. It's either going to do that, or you're going to come back down here, find a higher low somewhere, and then you're going to make your way up here. Both paths are bullish. All right. With that being said, everybody have a lovely rest of the day. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.